Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for the second day of the 2014 PDC World Darts Championship. We've got Gary Anderson here. How are you doing, Gary? Fresh from your first round win? Thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name's Paul Starr from Tungsten yeah, Tales. Yeah. That's a tenor Jess <laughs> Ocho already. That's a not tricky first round game. Mark Deborah's playing really well. How did you feel about that? It was. I mean, Mark's been playing the last three, four, five months. He's been, he's been playing well, you know, and my record the first round games here has always been hard. You know, I've had qualifiers hitting 97, 98, 99 averages against me. And it's the same, you know, here we go. Another toughy, hard year. You've done it though, you, you, 97 average. I mean, that, that's, say, first round, it is tough. Did you feel extra pressure in the earlier rounds or in the later rounds, would, would you say? No, it's definitely first round. You know, you, you don't all go home the first round. You know, it's a really crappy Christmas if you go home first round, you know. And uh, my next game's on my birthday. Now, I'm not supposed to mention, so if it goes peep tong, I'm going to have a yep, birthday and a terrible Christmas. Absolutely. 26th birthday, that'll be Gary's 26th yeah. birthday. And <laughs> my name's Paul Starr, by the way, that's 20 quid, yeah. Jess. <laughs> so so as, we, as we move on, into the next round, uh, uh, potentially Brendan Dolan. Do you worry about the next round when you come to it, or do you ever look ahead in the draw? I find out what day I'm playing on, and uh, the only reason I actually know it's I'm in Brendan's draws because he's got Colin. You know, and Colin wasn't in it, and there's a boy pulled it, and Colin's got in. So, but don't don't write Colin Osborne off. You know, he's 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 here. He's got nothing to prove. He's been given a a free card, so he's got nothing to lose, and he's just got to go up there and play his game. So, don't be surprised if Colin puts on a on a good show. Well, yeah, because I mean, that, that was uh, sort of uh, looking at these sort of players. I mean, at the year you've. You, you've had, I mean, world's number 18. I mean, a lot of people, including myself, would say, Gary Anderson, world's number 18, you should be far higher than that. Is that just what you deserve, a little bit of a bad luck, or uh, is this just how things are? No, it's just, just a year. You know, a lot of personal problems uh, two years ago, which led to not really playing the game. And then the next again year, I've not really been putting my, my mind into it, you know. So, no, I deserve. But the way I've played to still be at 18th is not too bad. It could be a lot worse, you know. I mean, you've got players like Michael Van Gerwen. If he has a bad 12 months from now on, he can drop well, way past me. Yeah. It's just the way the rankings go, you know. So, but next two years, I've got nothing to, nothing to defend. So, yeah. that's it. Because it's a two two year ranking list. The prize money went on the tour in the last two years. So, one big tournament, and it could be this tournament. I mean, you'd win this tournament, runners up in this, and then you're in the top well, six again. Quarters, semis, you know, it just fires you straight back up into the. The, the top 16 or whatever it is, you know, but yeah, next year, I kind of wiped this year off a few months ago, uh, we'll see how we get on at this one, and then whatever comes next year, it's a, it's a bonus, you know. Do you do you worry about the rankings of things, is it all just about winning dark matches, do you ever look, that oh, I need to be, or just, uh, you don't see, to be honest, you don't seem the person who worries too much about darts, if you win, you win, and uh, I mean, you get boys that, God, they're going to jump off the bridges and that when they lose, you know, to me, life, there's a lot more to life, than a game of darts, you know, I mean, it is our, it is our, this is our job, you know, this is what we make a living, you know, but uh, unfortunately it was supposed to be up at the, the army base last Wednesday with Justin, yes. you know, and you've, you've got all these boys and girls coming back for the wars, you know, and they're in a mess, but they're, yeah, you know, they're, they're, the, they're the heroes, so we've actually got easy, very easy coming here and playing darts. Yeah, and very, very much so, and getting paid to good money and being able to entertain in front of, I've seen Zippy and George from Rainbow out there. It's, it's, it's absolute mayhem. I think every dance tournament I come to now, I move on to an, it's just getting busy, bigger and bigger, isn't it? And it's just a party atmosphere continuously now. As it's good, especially when you see Zippy battering the shit out of George. You know, it was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, had, a great, had a great view from the stage. Went, go on, zap, you know. <laughs> no, I mean, the crowd was good tonight. I mean, I, I usually get a lot of stick down here, but uh, hands up and fair play, they were, they were all right tonight, you know. Yeah, but they do love you. I mean, at darts exhibitions. I mean, Gary, you're still the. I don't know what it is. It must be these big 180s and this wonderful personality. By the way, I'm Paul Star. I don't know if that's 30 quid gessos. Uh, <laughs> I think that with these exhibitions and, and things, it's. Perhaps the way you play, you're quick, you bang the 180s. Uh, it, it, is, is that it? Or is it just... yeah, it's, it's, I mean, all these people that come to these exhibitions and tournaments, they're the people that pay our wages. Yeah, very much. You know, I mean, you do exhibitions, some boys play their games and disappear. I like to hang about until the end. You know, I mean, they've paid the money to come and watch us play, yeah. which is, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be working. You know, and it's, it's the public that, that keep us going. Very much so. And one final question: uh, Would you say, Garrett, could you can you win this competition? 
I don't know. They'd be a shit in the war forest. They do. He can win it. By the way, uh, we have the, 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 the World Championship draw here. If you don't mind, Gary, signing yourself through to uh, the next round, uh, just of there. Yeah. There we go. Just the flying Scotsman, Gary Anderson, moving. Uh, G. Oh, yeah. P A U L S. <laughs> Gary Anderson, they're moving through to the second round in the World Championship. 2014. By the way, my name is Paul Starr. Is that 50 for 50 quid? That's the Flying Scotsman, Gary Anderson. Thanks for joining us on Tunks and Tales. Sharp End of World Darts. Thanks. Thank you, mate. You're a superstar.